Ah, it's brilliant. It's so good. It's so important to, to normalize. It's, it's a perfect word for it. You know, we live in this, you know, relative, well, you know, disconnected society almost, you know, we live as individuals, but it would just be interesting if we were able to develop those skills, you know, I mean, it, it, it is difficult to, to talk about things that you're, you know, you're uncomfortable talking about because you can't figure it out and we want to figure things out and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, just that ability, like, Hey, you know, that's, I've, I've had that thought. I've been through a similar situation or that that's people deal with that sort of thing all the time. You know, did, did you find that after a while people, when you were kind of introducing that normalizing, um, you know, um, vocabulary, all that sort of stuff, did you find that people just felt a lot more reassured or, What was the defining factor that helped them? Generally, it would. Sometimes it would take some time, and sometimes it wouldn't even be me. Now, mind you, prior to our big nightmare here in the States of 9-11, 2001, when the Twin Towers and the Pentagon and we had our our attack, prior to that happening, we had just one officer working down at that Golden Gate Bridge. So if it was me working, we just had eight-hour days. I would handle the bridge, all the parking lots, the freeway down into San Francisco, and then also all the way up US 101 through a tunnel, all the way down a hill. So it was a vast area. So the working with suicides was just a portion of what we would do. So it was pretty busy. But if I couldn't make that connection, I would have to call somebody else or I would try to call somebody else, but they may be a while because there was only one officer working down there. So I think that's the other part of this is if I can't make that connection with someone, maybe they don't want a white guy, maybe they want a black female, whatever that is, if we can get it, that's what I want to do. And I think that really helps. Now, I know when I'm talking to folks, sometimes you don't have that option, whether you're a parent and a kid, or if you're a very, very small police department, it's just you, whatever it may be, whatever the circumstance. Um, but I believe it's really important on making that connection. And then folks, once they feel comfortable with you and not pushing it, trying to build that rapport, we call it trying to influence behavioral change. You can't just go from, hi, I'm Kevin Briggs, to, okay, I want you to come back over the rail. Everything's going to be fine. How do we get to that? So it could be hours. It could be 20 minutes. It could be hours. Things aren't going to be fine. Mm. Something happened while you're over that rail right now. So just to try to, to comprehend all of that from those folks and be a sounding board for them. <laughs> 